This is Precalculus Concept 7b, Parallel and Perpendicular Lines. We'll be reviewing what the term parallel and perpendicular means, and also uh, how to apply those to equations of lines. And there are four boxes. So this should be a review for you guys as well. Uh, if two lines in the same plane are parallel, that means they have the same slope. And if two lines in the same plane are perpendicular, uh, if their slopes are negative reciprocals. Uh, in case you forgot what negative reciprocals are, uh, if I have one line whose slope is, let's say, 2, then I find the negative reciprocal of that by reciprocating my number and taking the opposite sign. So the negative reciprocal would be negative 1 half. Uh, second example, if I had one line and the slope was negative 3 fifths, then the negative reciprocal of that would be a positive 5 thirds. And another way you can remember that is that the product of two negative reciprocals will always be the number negative 1. So in our first example, uh, 2 times negative 1 half is negative 1, and 3 fifths times 5 thirds is also negative 1. Uh, one other notation. Note, if you have uh, see the word parallel, sometimes that's replaced with two slash lines like that. That means parallel. And oftentimes, the word perpendicular is replaced with a little upside down T. That symbol means perpendicular too. Okay, box two is an example. Find the equation of a line passing through the point negative 5, 3 that is parallel to the line 2x plus 3. And we'll put our final answer in slope intercept form. So I've got a picture of the line 2x plus 3 that's shown here. And I also have a point, uh, negative 5, 3. If I draw in an approximate parallel line, it looks something like that. So our goal in this problem is to figure out the equation of that second line right there. Okay, so I first need to know its slope since I have parallel lines involved here. I know that their slopes are the same, so the slope I'm of the line I'm looking for has to be the same as the slope of the line that I'm given, and I can tell from my slope intercept form that that slope is going to be 2. Alright, I also know it passes through the point negative 5, 3, and so we basically have an equation like you had in last the last lesson where I have a slope and a point, and I want to find the equation in slope intercept form. I know the slope right off the bat is 2, and I'm going to use my point to figure out the value of b. So, 2 times the x coordinate of my point uh, plus b has to equal the y coordinate of my point 3, and from that I'm going to get a b value of 13. And so the equation that I'm looking for, y equals 2x plus 13. All right, box three is a U-try. Find the equation of a line passing through the point 7, negative 1, that is perpendicular to the line y equals 10. All right, the answer is x equals 7. Um, over here in our picture, y equals 10 is this horizontal line. And the line passing through the given point that's perpendicular would have to look like that. And all vertical lines are going to have an equation that's x equals. Every single point on that line has the same x-coordinate. And I know that x-coordinate from my point to be 7. So final answer is x equals 7. Just a quick review, horizontal lines will always have an equation that's x, uh, y equals, and vertical lines will always have an equation that's x equals. Box 4, another u try. Find the equation of the line that passes through the point 1, negative 6, and is perpendicular to the line containing the points negative 1, 4, and 3, 2. And we're going to write our answer in point-slope form. All right, hopefully you got y plus 6 equals 2 times the quantity x minus 1. A lot of small steps in this problem, but step 1 is I've got to figure out the slope of the line given. And I've got to use my slope formula to figure that out. 
Um, that gives me a slope of oops, uh, 2 over negative 4, which simplifies to negative 1 half. Uh, the slope I'm looking for is perpendicular, and so the perpendicular slope has to be the opposite reciprocal, which is going to be 2. And so the line I'm looking for, which is that line right there, has a slope of 2 and passes through the point 1, negative 6. That leads to my equation.